On the menu at Musa at the moment, we've got a lamb chump that's in a shimishiri marinade. It gets marinated for approximately five days. I'm going to show you now how to do this marinade. Take some wild garlic. We picked this fresh this morning out at Stonehaven, in the Notter Woods. Flat leaf parsley. Shimishiri. It's often called the green sauce, hence the amount of green herbs that go in. There's no curry in it. There's a spot of turmeric, though. So. Pinch of chilli flakes, turmeric, parsley, wild garlic. White wine vinegar. Some of this Ola oil, it's amazing oil, it comes from out in Inveruri. It's cold pressed out there, grown there, marketed, distributed, all by the farm. A lovely local product. It's a lot more healthy for you as well than um, olive oil. Look at that one there. Take our lamb. Get that in. Then we'll add some copious quantities of sea salt. There we have it. That's a shimishiri marinade. We'd leave the lamb in there now for five days, allowing the blood to draw out and the marinade to draw in. Fortunately, we don't have to wait five days because we've got some here we marinated five days ago. And there we go. Five days later, we get this. I say the blood's been drawn out through it, the marinade's gone into it. A lot of people feel that a marinade is something that's done one hour before cooking, a day before cooking. Here at Musa, I really, really believe that a marinade has to get in. We have to get the flavors penetrating straight into the meats there. So this can take anything between three, five days. So get our pan, make sure it's nice and hot. Feel that coming up. Take some of this Ola oil again. It's just such a wonderful product. Christian Omega 3. People seem to say we need to be taking more off. There's a lamb going in there. It's a chump of lamb. If anybody's wondering where the chump is, it's the back end. It's a great cut of meat. A lot of people complain that it's tough, it's fatty. With any cut of lamb, it's going to be fatty in that. Um, with the chump, it's so robust that you can marinate it for a long time. You can cook it slow, you can cook it fast, you can braise it, it's just wonderful. We're going to be serving this today with goat's cheese mash, the one which is on the menu. We'll be doing it with some of our smoked potatoes. You can see the smoke coming out there and the colour changing. They'll be wonderful with the lamb. Okay, back to our lamb here. We'll add some butter. I believe in a healthy diet. Plenty of salt, plenty of butter. It's all got to be balanced. It's all freshness. There's no processed foods. We see all that goodness in the pan there. All that rough chopping and that marinade. We're still keeping that in there, keeping it moving around. So once we've completely coated the outside, seared it off, we'll transfer that to a baking sheet. skin side up. We'll cook these now in a hot oven for 12 minutes at 240 degrees and then allow the lamb to rest at a warm temperature for five minutes before serving. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the garnishes together now to go with it. Just 
wonderful heritage potatoes are now smoked. Got them. We're also going to take some mashed potato right at the end after we've mashed it. We're just going to crumble in some goat's cheese. Let that melt through. As you can see, it's a goat's cheese just starting to melt through the mash. All our sauces at Musa, very important to me that they're all cooked fresh. This is a meat sauce. It's cooked from beef bones, pig strotters, roasted vegetables, red wine. This takes us five days to produce this amount of sauce. Quite amazing. Um, we start off in large pots with roasted bones, the roasted vegetables, the red wine. We cook that for two days, continually adding more and more water to it. And then it gets strained. Then it has to sit for a whole day for the fat to rest on the top. We remove the fat and we reduce that down to five times what it was. If it was 10 litres, we take that down to two litres. So from maybe 50 litre stock pot, we're going to get two litres of sauce. And this is this wonderful sauce that we see here that we're going to serve with the lamb. Okay, so it's just basically the same lamb. Two different types of potatoes. First one, got our goat's cheese mash. So one that any regulars of Musa recognise is on the menu. Next is Beauties. It's heritage potatoes that we've smoked today. The smokiness and the lamb. You don't want to be serving this with anything too robust in the vegetable front because there's a lot, a lot of big flavours on both plates. So we'll just have a little bit of trimmed green beans to accompany it. Okay, so we've got our lambs now rested for five minutes. Should just be perfectly medium. Yeah, as we can see, there's just the pinkness coming through there. And again on that, it's just perfect. Just wonderful meat stock that we've got. Some of that over the lamb. around. There we have it, that's our shimmy marinated lamb. With the smoked potatoes, and with the goat's cheese mash. So the only thing we've really got to remember about this dish is that plan ahead, get the ingredients four or five days before, get the marinade done, get the lamb, put it into the fridge, forget about it for the four or five days and then come back cook it up at the weekend. It's a lovely dish. 